What did you learn in the course of your reporting on Thursday? Today we reported that Tony Blevins, Apple's longtime vice president of procurement, been at the company for about 22 years or so. Uh, he is leaving the company after he appeared in a very viral video uh, that aired earlier this month on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, and in the video, he made some crude comments. This is a TikTok and Instagram account uh, by a creator named Daniel Mack. He goes up to people at car shows in Beverly Hills, elsewhere in the world, goes up to people and asks them if they're driving a fairly expensive car, what they do for a living, and Blevins' response was clearly not in line with what Apple felt was acceptable, uh, leading to his departure now from the company. As you said, Tony Blevins, as a senior executive, but essentially head of procurement for Apple, that's a massive role. What projects has he been involved in? What deals has he done for the company? Yeah, absolutely. Blevins has been head of procurement for Apple. And what that means is he does all the supplier agreements and partner agreements for many of Apple's products, particularly the iPhone, the iPad, and some of their other mobile devices. So I'll give you an example of the Global Star deal that Apple did earlier this month or announced earlier this month as part of the new satellite emergency SOS feature for the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro. That was overseen uh, by Blevins. Blevins did the complex negotiations uh, related to Apple sourcing 5G Qualcomm modems for the latest iPhone uh, units. He also did deals with Intel, uh, Samsung Display, uh, Imagination Technologies, any of the big suppliers that you've heard of. It was his responsibility to get those components ahead of the competition and at better prices than the competition, leading to Apple's strong margins. Some people in the company say he's even irreplaceable, given how important he was to Apple's bottom line and their product roadmap. Mark, what do we know about how Apple dealt with this issue internally and what has Apple's response been to our reporting? So the video was first published on TikTok on September 5th and on Instagram on September 6th. After the video became public, which by the way, it has well over a million views on TikTok and over 40,000 comments on Instagram, so I'd quantify it as fairly viral, uh, people within the Apple operations and procurement organizations reported the video to Apple's human resources department, which then enacted an investigation uh, into the situation. Uh, we're told that this month, uh, Jeff Williams, Apple's COO, chief operating officer, made the decision that Blevins would be leaving the company. And today I spoke to Blevins. He issued a statement which is in our story. Uh, it's a form of an apology that can, you can read in the article itself. And I spoke to Apple as well. And Apple confirmed that Blevins uh, would be leaving the iPhone maker.